These kicks are so slept on. Jeez. What's good YouTube, Ash Bash back again with another video. These are a pair of kicks that I randomly stumbled across while browsing the drop date and Soul Supplier. As usual, those things put me in hella trouble. But I was, wasn't sure about them at first. I sent them to my mate, he was like, yeah, not for him, but he's not really into that sort of kick. Sent it to my girl. She said she liked it, but Kay kills me because she likes everything these days. So I was already on the plus train anyway, so going for them. Then I was looking for videos, couldn't find anything, but saw some more pictures, they looked lit. So I thought, let me go for it. And here they are. So it is a pair of Adidas EQTs. First of all, this box is the heaviest box I've ever had. I don't know what the heck is going on. I've got some other Adidas EQTs up here and I do not remember them being this heavy. I might actually weigh the box after just to show you how mad it is. I know these kicks are supposed to be sort of built really well and be rough and ready for like the desert and stuff, but they must have went to town. But anywho, so if you can see that, it's a bit bright in here, but there's the faint Adidas stripes. There's the Adidas logo in the corner, if you can see. And then shoe itself, the details, UK 10. And it is the How X Adidas EQ293. The How basically stands for highs and low. High, high and low, highs and low. One of the two. It's an Australian company, basically. So the... What? So now I get why it's so bloody heavy. What the hell? It's got pasta in it. What? How random is that? Cook your pasta masterpiece, share it on Instagram. What are they, what is going on? So I bought it from Slam Jam. A Slam Jam, a Italian company? I can't remember. But that is the reason for the extra heaviness. Okay. That's throwing me off. What? What? Okay. Uh, okay. What? Let's get into the kicks. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, sugar. These are absolute fire. A late contender for my top 10. Bloody hell. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see in here, it's not too blurry. But yeah, these are the Adidas EQT X highs and lows. And how sick is that? Look at that back bit. Looks like fucking teeth or something. Bloody hell. These are lit. They killed it with this one. So, on the little lace tab there it says lows. So we can guarantee it says, yes it does. It says highs on this one. It will focus, it won't focus, there it does. So it says highs on there, and we've got some spare laces as well. Your boy's gassed. So these kicks are made out of hella materials. So we've got neoprene, which I'm assuming is this section here. And we've got nubuck going along around the shoe. And some cell cloth as well, which I don't know what part that is. I don't even know what cell cloth is, but that's what it said on the website. So the back of the shoe there, what does that say? Oh, okay, it says how. You can see that. Then this is the detail that I like the most. This sort of fade of the logo. Where it goes from like a desert yellow blended into the black. And a little blue bit on the tongue is fire as well. Does it say inside? It says how inside as well for highs and lows. And how sick is that? The torsion system. It's got a mirrored effect. And then we've got this sort of off-white, yellowy color at the bottom of the shoe as well. And let's check this second pair, see if there's anything different. Okay, this one has Adidas on the back. It says Adidas on the back there. And it's got Adidas Oops. inside the shoe. Dopeness. This speckle on the midsole as well. These are killer, mate. Didn't see many people talk about these. Super slept on. But yeah, these are based on the Interceptor muscle car famous for in the Mad Max films. So you can see they're well built and they've got all these little different materials and stuff going on. 
fire fire flames me like it so I'm gonna chuck them on feet there you go And we are back. Um, side guys, before I got these kicks, I was chatting to my boy Dale. Check out his channel, I'll try and link it above or below somewhere. But he was saying that he'd heard that these fit a bit big and it's got half a size down. But I'm so nervous at getting kicks and they're not fitting me. Especially if they're potentially gonna sell out, which I don't know if they have or not. So I went true to size just to be safe because I'd rather them be big than too small. At least they're big, I can put two pairs of socks on or something crazy, but these fit me fine. Um, Adidas kicks in general, I find narrow, so if they were a bit bigger, that'd be good for me anyways. But these fit me fine, possibly, possibly could have fit into a nine and a half, but it'd be touch and go for me, so I would say if you could try them on, try them on. But true to size is fine, but half size down, if you like it snug, you might just about get away with it. So that's my take on the sizing for these. But yeah, dope shoe. I'm gonna be doing my top 10 kicks of the year very soon, and these just might make an appearance. I think the count currently is something silly, like, no, I'm not even gonna say. I'll save it for the video, how many kicks I bought this year. But yeah, end of the vid, Ash Bash signing off. More videos to come, as you know. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all the socials, that's down below. Ash Bash signing off. Let's go.